All right, and we should have it. Good. Well done. Well done, everybody. Good job. Yo, we two chested that? Oh, hell yeah. We're insane. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical today. I'm bringing you, I think, the first PvE video I've done, O Expansion. It is a two chest of a 19 Shadow Moon Barrow Ground. We absolutely crushed it, by the way. We crushed this dungeon. Um, I'll try to do this in less than a minute. It's all fist weaving. I am fist weaving. Ancient Teachings is my top heal by far. As well as Renewing Mist, Essence Font, it makes sense, uh, Awaken Failing as well. Um, as far as talents go, these are my talents. I will put a link to it in the description, but this is what I like. I really like having Burst of Life on a very short cooldown. Um, I, I know 20 seconds, but it's still nice to have be able to rotate. Outside of that, I think it's everything else is fairly standard. You're going for damage, you're going for defensive so you don't die to mechanics. And yeah, AoE damage from the Resonant Fist. And then also look at getting bonus healing from Save Them All. I don't think anyone got too low. On the last boss, it gets, you get good value from it. Um, on the right-hand side, you're just going for chi -G, short chi -G, Teachings, Monastery, and you know everything else. I like Shadeland's Gift as well. The buffs are really, really solid. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I know PvE isn't what I normally upload. And I was kind of hoping to do plus 20s, but I couldn't get invited to a 20. So... Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Hello. How's everybody doing? This is, I think this is my first PvE video. This entire expansion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> I also PvE. I do PvE. I like to push keystones when I can. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing too crazy. But, you know, whenever, whenever I get invited. <laughs> uh, I was planning on only uploading... Um, videos that were 20 or higher but they were too hard to get invited to <laughs> so so this is a 19 shadow and burial ground this is uh i think this is the highest case i've done all, 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 all season just because it, it's I, i'm not gonna lie it used to be hard to get invited to keystones and now i find out that uh it's hard for dps to have kick on their bars I, it's crazy how that works you know what i mean um, but yeah, we're fist weaving, of course. Of course, we're fist weaving. That's uh, <laughs> this is the main reason I PVE. It's just so I can literally fist weave and just run mobs over. It's tyrannical, bullshring, volcanic week. So it's it's not too bad of a week. Um, I think Shadow and Barrow Ground is probably one of the easier dungeons to do just in general this season. Uh, my rotation is also in the bottom right here. So if, you know, if I'm just talking and you don't want to hear me talk or you want to know my rotation. That's what it is. Right now, these mobs aren't too. Oh, and this is live commentary. I'm, uh, you know, um, so if I mess up, you'll you'll know. I need to throw. I need to make. I keep forgetting to throw an envelope missile on the tank, so I keep extending up the rising mist. Um, and I've probably already. If I time this keystone, I've probably already done an intro. So you know my talents and everything. Rising mist really good. It's been a crane kick these uh, little critters down. I don't actually have their nameplates because. They're really annoying. It actually bit me so hard in the uh, Mechagon junkyard. Like the second part, we're in the uh, water. When the mobs would die, they would explode. I was like, why am I, Why do I keep dying? It was because they kept exploding. I didn't have their nameplates enabled. Um, yeah, overall, the this dungeon also isn't too bad either. Um, the mechanics are pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can. If there's mobs that are stacked up, I normally just spin to win. I'll leg sweep everything and spin to win. You what you want to kick here is uh, this fellow right here. And then you want to kick the uh, Shadow Mend thing, the uh, the heal that he does, the Shadow Mend right there. Beautiful. We're just going to do damage. Just going to tot him just because um, bolstering in this dungeon actually isn't too bad because a lot of the packs don't have like more than what, maybe two or three at a time. I think the largest pull here is four right before the final room after the third boss. So there's really nothing... Um, Bullshitting really isn't too scary. Just kick whenever you can and avoid. But mostly kick, please, God. Please, DPS, kick, please. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I, I will try to do as many keystones as I can. Again, I do farm keystones because it's the best way to get the concentrated um, primal focus for the the upgrades that you get for your gear, for the crafted gear. So, obviously, um, I want that. So, I like to get the best gear that I can whenever I can. So... I do have big Healy here on the tank uh, with Chi-Gi, but they're kind of taking it right now. I'll probably throw a little Envelope Mist. Uh, I don't think I have to, actually. I'll throw, I'll throw a Revival here. Uh, next go. Next go. Oh, my God. What am I PVing? What am I PVing? Next time that big AoE comes out, we will... Uh, I'll use Shadeland's Gift and get a huge buff. Right here, we're going to kill the Defiled Spirit. Boom. 
This song's a little intense. Not gonna lie. But that's how we do it, I guess. Dark Eclipse here. Kind of want to go over here. Stand in the uh, white orbs on the ground. White orbs, white circles on the ground. And then we take some big damage here. So I'm actually going to Shailene's Gift here as well. Big heal. I hate that. It's RNG. Who it heals. I think that's getting changed next patch though. So that's pretty good. Going to dampen harm here. Diffuse magic here. The healing though. Because I do have the healing buff from the Shailene's Gift. And we should be able to heal through this. Not too, not too bad. Um, we'll Chiji here. Do damage. And then we got to kill the mob. My boy just sent Chaos Bolt into the tank. Into the boss. Are you kidding me? Big damage here. Please give me this. Nice before the mob actually died. Throw that out. My action bars. I, I know I might get this question. Uh, the reason I'm not using my mouse over macros is because for some reason, my UI reset whenever I swap my, my freaking uh, talents. So, uh, great, great, on, great on that. So, I have to use my non mouse over macros, which is never fun. Dampen harm here. And uh, we're going to take some damage here. We are. Um, I'll, I'll probably just life cocoon myself. I am using Burst of Life. I, I am a big fan of Burst of Life. Short cooldown is really nice. I know that Guardian Druids are not the best with magic damage. So it's a, it can be a little rough for him. Um, probably use on him next next uh, big AoE. But again, we're just trying to do damage. Extender Hot, Renewing Mist, of course. Uh, you hardly have to press Renewing Mist, honestly. Uh, with, the, um, with the talent that puts it on. I'm going to Chiji here. I'm going to take some damage soon. Throw it on the tank. Minute here, Dark Eclipse. Oh, yes. And I guess I'll go for a five stacker Shailun's Gift on myself. We get the buff as well. And we should be okay. Kind of an awkward time to uh, I'll defuse magic here. Please. Yes. Beautiful. Well done. And I'll do a little Todd here. And good. Not bad for the first boss. Pretty good. Damage was pretty, pretty high optimum on damage. I think there was one Chiji I could have done a little bit better. What did I, I Chiji'd right before the Eclipse and uh, got almost <laughs> negative value out of it. Still trying to learn, of course, you know. Um, I don't have like a dedicated group of people that <laughs> I run with or anything. I, it's all pugs. I'm going to lick sweep here and just honestly with a pack this big, um, I'm probably just going to just spin the win here. I usually went something like this. Just spin. I'm gonna, I'll kick that. Oh no, I'm already not gonna like this song. Okay. And uh, hopefully, you know, in the future, we can do some 20s. Um, obviously, I'm at the mercy of LFG. There's no solo queue or anything like that for PvE yet. Hopefully, maybe one day. I think it'd be sick. But kick that. And uh, I love having kick, man. I love having kick. Oh, it's so nice. I, I feel like I'm actually contributing to the group. You know what I mean? All right, these guys are going to have to do the death. What is it called? Death bolt. Death blast. Uh, this song is already too intense as well. Big damage here. I just love fist sweeping as well. I, I, I Fist sweeping is like so much fun to me. So I'll probably save leg sweep for next. Yeah, we'll do it for next pull. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'll just clean this now. Biggest thing I've seen, by the way, going from like doing 15 keys to like... 18 pluses as people actually know like the best time to clear their thundering it's really really nice um usually in lower keystones they just clear it instantly and i'm like dude it's a good buff you know especially when there's no boss beginnings coming or something like that or like you have downtime it's like yeah it was pretty frustrating when like i was trying to do it and oh, trying to dodge this Dodge this we're here all right let me drink super quick shouldn't need mana um because during boss fights there's this boss doesn't have too much going on. There is some AoE damage going out. Um, when he rips the soul, was it soul rip or soul shred or something like that? But outside of that, this is a frontal. Don't want to stand in front of him. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Not too bad. He's gonna suck us in though pretty soon. I think it's the vortex. Is it the vortex? I forget what it is, but he's gonna suck us in and we're gonna roll out planner shift. Yep, just run away. Don't stand in the circle, blue goo. Here and then he's gonna soul shred us. Try to put some hots on people. I'll try to put one like on the tank or something. But for the most part, I just Todd this thing and take my soul. Not too bad. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. But we'll Chiji here just in case uh, someone's low. And I'll throw. I'll, I'll clear this. Don't, don't don't run from me. S scare me there. 
I should be able to get another Enveloping Mist here. I do. No one's taking damage, so... We just throw it on the tank. Keep extending with Rising Sun Kick. And I do have a 10 stack Shaloon's Gift. That is something I'm, I am trying to learn the best time to use. Um, I don't know if it's worth going for the buff. You know, without people taking damage. Or if people, you know, save it for when people take damage. I don't actually know. Avoid the purple circles on the ground during this, by the way. So, you can see my mana is almost going up. Not almost, it is going up. It's because... Alright, so this guy's... Let's just go for it. Let's just send it. He's taking some damage. I got a 10 stacker. It's tyrannical, so nothing too crazy. I do have crit here. I do have a weak order for this uh, weak order. Uh, uh, I have a link for my weak order if you want it. Um, it's on my weak order page. Uh, it was a cool one to make. I, it's just a simple group, but nice. Really good job for the tank here. I have some damage built up as well. I kind of want to... I don't know how it works, actually. Um, if, like... The thundering goes through the soul shred. I know if they just did like a nerf to like, or like with the uh, quaking or whatever. I'm just going to revive here to recover and then just do damage. Pretty much all there is to it. Got to reset our failing stomp. Again, our mana has only gone down a little bit just because we're getting a lot of mana back from our uh, blackout kicks, from ancient teachings, from I think it's called Spirit of the Crane. So, pretty good. Uh, I think it's this talent right here Spirit of the Crane, yeah. So when it, those extra thunder blackout kicks give you mana. So if you can build them up, you could just kind of crush with them and then also get mana back. That's why I literally just did not lose mana that whole fight. Actually went up. Uh, I'll kick that. Oh. Okay. All right. You can release. You can release. Yep. Perfect. Let's not, let's not freak out here. Okay. Throw an envelopment on the tank here. Really hate not having mouse over macros. I'm going to keep it real. I really don't like this. But we're just going to spin here to win, I think. I think it's just a spin to win situation here. Yeah. And uh, I got a 10 stacker of Shaloon's Gift. I just taught that. Nice clear. Clear too fast. I hate being in melee and, like, the warrior or the ret also gets the buff. Because it's like... Uh, I feel like I see it too too, too late. And uh, we clear it. That wasn't my fault. I think we could have gotten a buff a little longer. We have this patrol right here. I don't think we should pull it. I feel like we don't have to, but I guess we are. I feel like this is also this is always extra trash, but could be wrong. I don't know. I just I just heal. <laughs> I'm just the healer, man. You can pull as much trash as you want. I'll just heal and do damage because, of course, we fist weave here. I don't have kick for this. Usually, one uh, one thing I do if you're just starting out doing keystones or something, and listen, you know, I'm not. I'm not like the number one misweaver, but when it comes to learning the keystones, uh, when it's on tyrannical weeks, always do your best to do the like the the mob mechanics correctly. That way, on fort weeks, you know the mechanics, and then on fort weeks, practice the tyrannical mechanics. I kick that instantly, by the way. I kick that absolutely instantly. I'm gonna sweep both those plague spits, and let's just put all of our kicks right into this corpse spider. I mean, it's not that big a deal this week because it's not fort week, but again, it's you know it's a good time to practice. Anyway, I think I could just spin here, actually. Uh, man, it's looking pretty good, too. I'll probably maybe go for a drink uh, before the third boss, but there's really nothing too crazy going on here. I hate this boss, by the way. This is my least favorite. What, what's his name? Bone Maw? Least favorite boss in this entire game. I, I hate him. I don't enjoy healing him. He sucks me in, and then... Uh, I swear I'm behind the dirt, man. I'm behind the dirt. <laughs> I swear, man. Every time I'm gonna throw an vault miss on my tank here, and uh, I'm I'm gonna try to focus kick this guy instantly, instantly. Kick it so fast, no one else. Oh, okay, let's get a kick on that. Good, good. I do have revive one seven seconds, so being a misweaver, you know, OP misweaver, we do have the option of dispelling everything, you know. See, this is extra trash right here, but I mean, I guess on Tyrannical Week it doesn't actually matter in here. I don't think it matters in general in here, actually. Uh, this boss, I mean, I don't think I've had like a rough time kick that as well in this dungeon at all. You know, most people know the mechanics, which is nice. It's always nice when people know the mechanics. And then bolstering, people really don't need to pay too much attention to it. At least on lower keys. Uh, I'm going to try to drink super quick here. I don't think I need to, but just because normally we pull trash. Uh, it's a pugging. You know what I mean? Oh, hello. Uh, you know, pugging. You know, usually they just pull everything and then go straight into the boss. So uh, I'm, I'm going to sweep that. Uh, I think I swept it too late. I'll dispel this though. Nice dispel from the pally there or druid maybe. On that disease or poison like what i'm seeing there that's a spirit 
um, cleared instantly. It is what it is, you know. Do damage, do damage. Um, you're trying to do as much damage through healing. Uh, try to do he as much healing through your damage as you can. There aren't many times where I'm actually casting, unless I know it's a big or annoying pull. Oh, I thought we killed him. Um, unless it's like a big or annoying pull, I'll, like right now, like let's just say it was a big pull. I threw put an envelope mist on my tank before a pull, and then keep extending it during the pull with the rising sun kick. But besides that, I'm not really casting that and Shaylin's gift. Shaylin's gift is like, and this is what you want right here. You want your renewing mist on everything, extending those when you can, and just keep doing it over and over again. But I think it's just the worm. Now we pulled the bats. Um, I really listen. I just, I, I just want to kill this boss. I, I'm gonna be real. I, I want this boss over with. I hate him. But it looks like we're all melee except for the Warlock. So if we stay stacked up, if you're playing with melee, well, no, because you're always going to have a tank, right? You want to stack on the boss. Oh, uh, You want to stack on the boss so that the pools, yeah, stack melee, of course. Bait puddles and melee. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to get yelled at. I've gotten yelled at by Warrior. Listen to me. I, 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 I wasn't fist weaving and I was just like vibing and just, <laughs> it was a puddle all the way in the back, man. All right, we got some thundering here. All right, there's a puddle right there. Um, I have the warrior. See, like, what? Oh, what is going? On? I, I, I actually must be doing something wrong. I, I must be doing something wrong because I get pulled in every time. So I, I don't. It, it's me. I know it is. I just don't know what it is. Ooh, give me a res on that. Maybe I need to stand farther back here. I'm so bad. Don't worry. We all are. Wolf from the Warlock. Throwing a Vault Mist on him. Actually, I do have a Shaylin's Gift. Exhale. Don't don't get sucked in. All right. I'm going to just stay back here. Like, what is going on here? I, like, maybe I'm bad. Like, I, I'm almost embarrassed. Like, I don't know. I I actually don't know. I Maybe, uh, maybe there's a mechanic. I don't know. I could have sworn you just stand behind it and you're fine, but dodge this. Tigers lost myself, so I dodge. All right, maybe I need to stand in it. I don't know, man. I actually don't know. I'm standing in it, I guess. I. Please let me clear. Please let me clear. Please clear. Please. Oh my lord. Oh my sweet baby Jesus, I hate this boss. That's the one part of Thundering that I really don't like, is like, you have to do that along with mechanics during boss fights, and some of the boss fight mechanics are just not friendly if we're Thundering at all. All right, we're doing damage here though. We're cranking. All right, Corpse Breath, who's it on? All right, all right, we're over here now. Inhale, all right. We're all here, right? Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe I just didn't know the mechanic. I, I how many times I've done this dungeon, I swear I stand in this. Alright. It is what it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm bad. Try to avoid that. Couldn't. Alright, nice. We got a little corpse breath there, but he moved. Oh, is he? Hmm? Alright, here he is. <laughs> Body slam. Just avoid. Thundering. I'm actually going to clear this as soon as possible. Because, like, I'm terrified. Yeah. Do we have a corpse breath? All right. Good, good. All right. Let's Chigi here. And let's just crank this guy. Inhale. All right. I'm 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 not going anywhere. Get away from me. Get away from me. I'm not going anywhere near this boss, man. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tiger Sauce, I guess. And let's hopefully... We only have one more phase, I think, of that. And we should be... I think I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna use Shaylin's gift here and go for like, yeah, we got bonus healing here. There isn't much damage that comes out of this anyway, this boss anyway. I got you, brother. I got you. We're not pressing life cocoon on anything really. No one, please, no one make fun of me. You know, I'm trying my best here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I swear, <laughs> like, uh, I, I've tried, I've done this boss so many times. I got sucked twice, though, so that's not good. A little embarrassing, actually. I'm embarrassed right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might not upload it. I don't know. All right, we're, all right I'll, I'll kick this guy instantly. No one's going to even know I kicked him. 
Kicked it instantly. Don't even worry about it. Sweep the Plague Spit. Not all of them. That's okay. Um, this is a four. You, you could just spin a win. I'm going to be real. If you're in your failing stomp, which you probably are, just, just spin a win and you're, and you're fine. Throw a little Rising Sun Kick when you can. Um, I'll kick this guy instantly. I'll kick it instantly. Don't worry about it. Actually, this probably would hurt if he was bolstered, huh? Probably should kick him. Yeah, definitely should like not ignore him at all. Nice. Um, next mobs are pr fairly annoying, but like they're nothing crazy, especially on Tyrannical Week. Um, just do your best to... You got to heal between the explosions that they do. That's pretty much the best I could do. All right, let's do it up. Let's do it up. I'll just cheat you straight off the rip here. Uh, the explosions are the void pulse, by the way. Looks like they do about, what, 40% of my health. I'm going to try my best to heal. And then during the eruption, you want to avoid the purple on the ground. That was another uh, thing right there. So we're just going to do some more damage. Heal. There's another pulse. I'm going to revival this one. Good uh, heal from the warrior as well. And rally. Really good. Nice to see those uh, those cooldowns being used. I don't see it often. I'm going to defuse magic this one, so I don't need to worry about me. And I, I'm going to try to keep this buff as long as I can. Todd here. All right, let's... let's. All right, good, good. Well done. All right, we should be okay now. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Bear is healing more than me. No biggie. No biggie. Okay. Oh, okay. I hit that. I thought, I thought you know, it wouldn't work once he died, but all right. Um... I'm gonna just heal super quick here and just let me let me just get some mana. Alright, just quick mana, quick mana, quick quick sips here. Lust on pull, do whatever you want, baby. Do whatever you want. Oh, we got lust on pull. Let's go. Alright, little health stone here. Alright. This boss, again, like two or three mechanics. He's gonna Usually it's a range DPS that gets the uh, omen and you just avoid the malevolence at the same time. It's the uh, omen does like some AoE damage, so just you wanna get away from it. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is for that. Uh, again, don't stand in the purple. And then the main mechanic for this is this right here, the Omen of Death, where you're just going to want to kill one of these mobs. If you go into the purple cloud, you're going to die. You're going to get a huge dot, especially even on non-tyrannical, you're just going to just get a huge dot, and you're going to die slowly, unfortunately, or quickly. Uh, roll through this. And I normally just kind of stay in between until the skeletons pass. And that's the boss right there. So let's hopefully not mess this up and just not stay in front of the boss during that. Uh, this is thundering. So we're going to get some pretty good damage and healing buff here. Um, I am just, I'm just going to go for a Shaylin's Gift here. Roll through that so I don't get hit by Malevolence. Do damage here. And we did get healing, bonus healing through this. So um, we should be able to heal through pretty much anything right now. Okay. Um, we're going to Chiji here. I'm going to Cocoon here. Nice. Got an Envelope Mist here before he brought him out of range. I'm going to throw an Envelope Mist on the on the Red Pally too. Uh, please just avoid. Just do the mechanic and we're fine. Good. Do damage here. I'll probably just Todd this. Todd it. Yep. Good. Good. Roll through. Just chill. Just chill. Okay. The Warlock got the... Nope. And the Red Pally got it too. Fantastic. Please be res. Yes, good. Throwing a vote, miss on myself. Damping home. Nice, we got two B reses. Ooh, okay, all right. That was looking. I hope we're doing okay now. Malevolence as well. I'm gonna throw an vote, miss on the tank here, and I'm gonna throw Shaylin's gift out. Nice. Uh, please give me the crit. Oh, right, we got damage reduction. And haste. Haste is always good, of course. So. Okay. I'm gonna clear here. Levelin's not in front of us, so we're just going to chill and uh, Chigi here. And we have quite a bit of haste, so these Envelopment Mists are going to do a ton of healing here. Avoid. Just avoid. Just chill. Just chill. Kill it. Just stand here. I'm going to stand right here. All right. Good. All right. Good. That's really the only way to wipe on this boss, I feel like, is if you get hit by the pools. But, yeah, bad placement of this. Revival here. If we don't bait those out, those get close to us, we all take damage and it's kind of rough. But big damage here. Diffuse, ma or, uh, diffuse magic as well. I can recover. I'm just going to cuckoo myself and uh, failing stomp and hopefully crank. Also, I have a big Shaylin's Gift here. Good. Crit. Oh, I love me some crit. All right. 
Dodges. Just don't get hit. Don't get hit. We bubble. We bubble as well. All right, good. We actually had bubble when we had the debuff too. We must have... Uh... All right. Just going to stand behind him. GG here. Belt missed here. Good. Dodge the malevolence. Throwing the belt missed out. All right. And we should have it. Good. Well done. Well done, everybody. Good job. Yo, we two chested that? Oh, hell yeah. We're insane. Anything good? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, inventory's full. All right. Let's see if anyone got anything else. 